Hey guys, what's up? Uh, I just got a package in the mail and uh, just wanted to do a little review on it or whatever. Um, so, first off, this is the last video that I'm going to be doing in this house because um, I'm moving. Not that you really need to know that, but yeah, I probably won't make any videos for maybe a week or, or a few weeks, anyways, just because I'm going to be moving and settling into the new place and whatnot. You can tell everything's, you know, rooms are all full of boxes and whatever. Uh, but yeah, let's get into it. Uh, as you can tell, it's uh, kind of uh, a review of Explorer. And uh, it's kind of like about the parts I got for sure, but just like my experience with Explorer as a whole and what I think about them. Um, there's been a lot of like stuff happening on Force Explorer on Facebook and I don't know that that's really awful like it the the guy it's like something to do with the I didn't really read too much of it but the exu shells were like messed up and the guy's really upset and you know with good reason he paid a lot and whatever but yeah that just sucked uh made me kind of second guess explorer but uh I don't know I've literally never had any bad experiences with them so far and I've bought quite a bit of stuff from them and you know they seem nice to me but you know you never know um, whatever uh, but uh, yeah getting right into it I bought a hawk muzzle and uh, I just got it in black I didn't feel like getting a paying for a color I can just paint it myself if uh, I feel like painting it so that's that and you know, here's a little close up of it and it, it's super nice I don't know if this is cast or CNC'd or whatever it kinda feels like it's cast because I don't see any tool marks on it unless they're oh maybe it is CNC'd I, I really don't know but it's nice nice and solid it's like I can't squish in my hand it's nice I, I like it a lot and then I ordered the catch and end cap uh, set. So the catch is what I was really wanting out of it. I didn't really care about the end cap. But this catch is made out of Delrin. And it's CNC'd out of Delrin. And it's just really tough. Uh, and it's very well made. I really like it. It's a good buy for sure. Um, then it came with a nice catch spring. Just a fairly beefy catch spring, nice thick gauge wire, and then uh, the end cap is CNC'd out of nylon, and this is also very good, uh, it's it's excellent, I'm very happy with it, and I'll be replacing the, uh, I have an orange Marworks one in mine right now, which, you know, is fine for most people, but I just wanted this one, so, yeah, uh, and then I ordered the 18 kilogram spring and this spring is much better than the one that I got in my fighter kit. The spring that I got in my fighter kit was 14 kgs and you know it was fine it worked well but it was kind of like the end here was bent up and the spring was like probably like that when I got it and once I put it in the blaster and used it a bit it kind of straightened out but still like I was kind of pissed but this one's nice and straight. The ends are closed quite well. I'll probably grind them flat. Uh, well, not flat, but you know, grind them so they're a little more flat. And yeah, this is a very tough spring. I can't really compress it fully with my hands. It's it's tough. And I'll be putting this in, plus probably the stock spring, and see how that goes. Then uh, this I think is very cool. Uh, it's the uh, mag release thing. And it's just a little, it's called the X lever, I'm pretty sure. And it'll just go in the long shot and you will squeeze it as you're pulling on the mag. And the mag will just come out. So I think that's super cool. It'd be kind of like an AK kind of thing. And uh, this seems casted, I think. Uh, I don't know. I probably should have read the website, uh, see what they said. But it's very sturdy. It's it's very nice. It, there's no imperfections that I can see. The logos are nice. Uh, there's no flashing or tool marks or whatever. 
Uh, then, uh, this is probably the most expensive thing I ordered. Uh, this is the plunger rod, and this is the new uh, newer plunger rod or the newest plunger rod that they make. Uh, it's the one that they lightened, and this is CNC. Uh, and if you can tell, there's grooves cut into it, and that's just to make it lighter. And uh, yeah, it just helps because the original one apparently was a little heavy, and if you didn't have like a really heavy spring load in there, it wouldn't travel as fast as the stock one and it would actually reduce performance unless you had like a certain amount of kilograms on your spring load like let's say you were just running like 14 kgs and you had your stock plunger rod uh, the stock plunger rod would shoot better than this plunger rod and at 14 kgs you don't really need a reinforced plunger rod uh, but if you want to go to like 18 20 25 kgs that's when the stock plunger rod is probably going to break on you. Uh, at least, that's what I think. I've never really tested that. Um, you know, I'm sure it'd be fine for, whatever, a couple hundred shots, but I think it would eventually break. Uh, but that's where this thing starts to shine at higher spring loads. Uh, that's when this thing is moving fast enough to propel the dart quite well. And it's also just wicked strong. Like, this is never going to break. Look at the uh, catch face on there. It's a larger catch face than the stock uh, plunger rod. And, like, it's just never going to break. It's solid aluminum, screw in the back. And I think there's a screw up here, but I'm not going to take the padding off. Very nice uh, plunger padding done by Explorer. And, uh, yeah, it's that's nice. The O-ring that it came with is kind of loose. But, uh, I don't know, I'll probably just chuck it in the bin and... I don't know, use my own O-ring, or I'll try it, but I don't know why the O-ring is that loose, that's kind of a piss off, uh, because, like, when I ordered my fighter kit, the plunger cup, the O-ring on that was, like, ridiculously loose as well, it's, like, uselessly loose, um, kind of like this one, so I'll be uh, fooling around with that myself, and uh, the last thing that I ordered was the X-Trigger, uh, but... You know, it's nice, but look at it. See how warped it is? Like, I don't even know if this is usable. Um, I'm going to try and straighten it out. But it is very warped. Like, uh, uh, I don't know. Like, I get it, you know. It's, it's cast, like, that That could happen, um, I, I understand, you know, it's just cast, but, like, why, why would you put this in a package and send it to me? Uh, if I, like, if I made this for someone, and I took it out of the mold, and it was bent to this extent, I would at least try and, like, straighten it out and, and whatever, but I, being who I am, I'd probably just throw it out and cast them another one. Um, it's, But, you know, I know, I understand they're a company, they have to make money, but it's just like, for the price that I'm paying for this, I'd expect it to come to me in good working condition. Uh, and this is bent and warped and just fucked, and that kind of pisses me off. Like, I'm sure I can straighten it out and whatever and, and make it work, and maybe I'll... Uh, clamp it in a vise and heat it up or, or something but you know I just shouldn't have to do that for the money that I'm paying for this trigger um, and I don't know it's pretty thin and flimsy and like I, I can bend it quite a bit um, if I was to buy another one of these I would 100% buy the CNC aluminum one um, I don't know, this one I don't think is worth it at all. If it came straight, I'd be super happy with it. I'd say, oh, this is cool, look at the rubber padding, and, you know, the nubs will uh, make sure that this thing doesn't flex, and they got a little polycarb on the, on the back, so the catch doesn't grind off any of the resin, and I, I would have liked it, but just that bent, warped crap is just unacceptable in my opinion.
for the price. Like if this was fifteen bucks, like uh, Orange Modworks trigger, I wouldn't give a shit. Fifteen bucks, whatever. Uh, but forty dollars, which is like thirty eight Canadian, or forty sing is like about thirty eight Canadian, something like that, is uh, no, it's not happening. But whatever, enough of my little uh, rant about the trigger. Uh, just as a whole, uh, I do like Explorer. I think they make good stuff. Um, this is the only bad thing that I've ever got from them. And uh, they seem nice. Their customer support has been fairly nice with me. Uh, their orders come fairly quick. They make my stuff fairly quick. It's always packaged extremely well. Uh, I was just looking at the packaging over there. I just got this in the mail like literally an hour ago. Um, yeah, they've just everything is very neatly wrapped and it always comes in good condition, minus this. Um, but you know, I do like them. They're nice. I will be uh, continuing to do business with Explorer. Um, I think uh, I think they make great stuff. And if you are a long shot enthusiast, uh, their parts will make your long shot go like shoot harder than any long shot you've ever seen. Uh, it, it's just insane. Like, there's only so many things that you can do with the stock parts. Uh, and, you know, they just don't compare to something like, uh, like Explorer's Long Shots. Like, their breaching system is, uh, very superior to, like, any kind of brass breach that you could make. And this is just my opinion. Um, but if you have the money to do it, it's it's great. If you don't have the money, then then just make a brass breach. There's there's nothing wrong with that. But if you got some money to fool around with on a on explorer ship, grab one of these breaches. I got the Gen 5, and uh, my Gen 5 didn't seal at all at first. So you can see it's a Gen 5. I didn't seal whatsoever when I first got it. But uh, I don't know. After I put like maybe like 200 shots through the breach. It just started to seal really well. Um, yeah, it, it seals great. I need to work on the plunger head seal because I the uh, O-ring on the U on the not the U cup, just the plunger cup O-ring. It snapped. I can tell that it snapped because it doesn't seal at all now. Uh, and I think I need to tighten up the plunger head a little bit. But I'm gonna be putting this in there anyways, so I have to open it up and fool around with it again. But the, the breach, like, literally seals 100%. Uh, I, when everything's closed, I can't blow any air through it at all. Uh, and it seems like it's sealing really, really well. Uh, I took everything apart, and I pressed the breach and the dart tooth together. And, um, excuse me. And I blew in the side of the barrel, and I had my finger on the end of the aluminum on the back of the uh, dart tooth. And I couldn't blow any air out. So, like, it's a fairly tight seal. I don't know if it's perfect, but... It's definitely sealing a lot better than it was for whatever reason. I guess it just needed to break in. Uh, I don't know. That doesn't really make sense to me. I don't, I don't know what there is to break in. It's like solid plastic. Um, I don't see any of it giving or anything, but whatever. I don't care why it's now sealing. I'm just glad that it is sealing. Uh, and yeah, I think that's everything, guys. I'll probably talk to you another day, um, probably in a few weeks, because uh, like I said, I'm going to be busy with this move. Um, oh, actually, one more thing before I go. I ordered another uh, of these uh, Stefan clips, and I absolutely love these uh, Stefan mags, not clips. Uh, they're, they're great. Um, my only uh, recommendation with these is I would take out the uh, screws that Explorer has and then uh, tap the holes for 632 and then put your own I put half inch 632 screws in there and uh, it's just I think it's better um, they had like I think they were like sheet metal screws or uh, something like that they looked like sheet metal screws I think they were half inch number six sheet metal screws if I'm not mistaken uh, so I just took them out and I tapped it for 632 and I put a half inch uh, bolt in there and it, I, it works a lot better now and I don't know I found after like a few mags full these two screws 
uh, they would start to kind of get loose and I'd have to tighten them. But ever since I tapped all the holes for 632 and put 632 bolts in there, uh, they don't go loose at all. So yeah, would recommend doing that if, if you have the tools or the time. Uh, but if your mag's working fine, don't worry about it. Just uh, mine, the, these two are a little loose, so I just did them all. Uh, but yeah, anyways guys, I'll talk to you later. Hope you're all doing well. Uh, and like always, I'll see you on the forums.